original spirit. All right, yeah, OG, that's right, original, yeah, only all right, the OG, only on the OG Sports Show. We're gonna give you the college football OG rankings 2008. We're gonna break down the top 10 for you all, only here exclusively on the OG Sports Show. All right, yes, we're going to get right into this, and we're gonna break down college football's top 10 teams. According to the OGs, you can smell it in the air. College football, can't you smell it? Can't you smell all that fresh, clean cut green grass blowing in the wind? Yes, it's that time of year. We're gonna break it down for y'all. All right, holding down the number six spot is the University of Ohio State. Football God's rule number one, thou must win the last game of the season in order to be ranked one or two. It's just something that, you know, the football gods gave to me one night in my sleep, and, and it's my duty to pass that on to you. You have to win the last game of your season to be ranked number one or two, period. That's just a, a basic common football rule that uh, we all need to be aware of. Now, the Buckeyes will have their hands full after a mouthful of cupcake as they open their season against Youngstown State and Ohio. And you know, the two games they play before they come out and play the big boys in Los Angeles and USC. See, I got a problem with these type of games for such a, a big time football program. That That's just cupcaking it right there. Outside of conference, when you schedule games like that, this has to be an issue that's brought up when it comes to this BCS positioning at the end of the season. We have to remember these types of games, so... I just wanted to bring that up as well. Ohio State holding down the number six spot. They're a good football team. They just really have to overachieve this year in order to make it to a national championship game. All right, holding down the number five spot in the OG rankings is Georgia. Still not sold on the Bulldogs. So what if they beat Hawaii 41 to 10? They're not better than the four teams in front of them. Uh, Georgia's AP number one ranking will cater them for a few weeks until they go down to the desert and take on Arizona State, who's going to shock the world this year. We'll talk about them uh, in a little bit. But the Bulldog, Bulldogs are good. That's why they get an OG number four ranking. Uh, they still just have a lot more to prove to me before they can get an OG number one or number two ranking to include beating Tennessee and South Carolina this season, two teams that beat Georgia last season with eight offensive starters and nine returning on defense the Bulldogs the Bulldogs will be formidable there's just a lot more winning to be done in their future for me to jump on their bandwagon and and consider them a legitimate powerhouse uh, at, in any conference let alone uh, setting up themselves for a national championship title run so the question is can the Georgia Bulldogs overachieve for the first time since the Herschel Walker era that's the question will they make it to the national championship they got a tough road but they got to beat Tennessee and they got to beat South Carolina to get that rating from the big OG all right here we go holding down the number four spot is Arizona State don't sleep this team is great <laughs> they get, they're going to be able to prove themselves on September 20th uh, against uh, the Arizona against Georgia. That's going to be the battle. It's going to be a big time matchup that will gauge ASU in this BCSO meter. Uh, the Sun Devils are returning seven on offense, including senior quarterback Rudy Carpenter. This kid's poised. He's a good quarterback. This guy's a really good quarterback. They got a great tailback in Keegan Herring. This tandem will wreak havoc under Dennis Erickson who has the magic touch remember, remember he took that Washington State team and back in the day in 88 to 9 and 3 then went on to Miami and won two national championships this guy knows what he's doing and they seem to buy his 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 program at the college level level better than they do at the pro level it's kind of like that Pete Carroll kind of touch he's a good motivator and gets the guys to believe in his program he likes to air it out this team's going to be really good and surprise a lot of people this year so don't sleep on Arizona State holding down the number three spot in the OG rankings is Oklahoma a legitimate contender as usual Bob Stoops has his young men ready in typical and in typical sooner fashion they will compete 
always in the mix for a national championship run. The Sooners return eight on offense, six on defense. They got a special kid at quarterback in that freshman over there, Sam Bradford, uh, threw for an NCAA record record uh, as a freshman, 36 touchdowns. So this guy, he's got tons of potential, and he led the nation in passing efficiency last year with 176.53 rating. Always coached well and, and well-disciplined if Oklahoma wins out. There's no reason why they can't compete and make a run for that national title. But they have to get past Missouri, which is what they're setting themselves up for in that Big 12 title game. And Missouri is who we're going to talk about next. Missouri is holding down the number two spot in the OG rankings. Very impressed by this team, obviously, here on the OG Sports Show. Missouri, Missouri is legit. Uh, the Tigers are returning 10 on offense. They they have a veteran, confident, and savvy savvy Chase Daniel at quarterback. Uh, he's back with six offensive starters as well. Sophomore Jeremy Macklin is one of the most exciting football players in college football since Reggie Bush. This kid has a different set of gears, and he makes big, big plays with the football in his hands. They have a beast in William Moore at strong safety. This kid had 115 tackles. Eight interceptions, two forced fumbles, two sacks, and a touchdown. More, this guy sounds like a football player when you drop those stats, doesn't it? That's what he is. This kid's a beast. Missouri is legit. They got 10 coming back on defense. I look for huge things from them. The key thing, one thing I noticed about Missouri when looking at them, this team has a swagger. That's something you got to have. You got to have that. That swagger. Missouri is one of the few teams that, that has that swagger early in the season. It's how they execute, how they dominate, and how they how they run their defense. They got a veteran at quarterback. They got a coach that likes to air it out. This team is the OG number two team for 2008 in the OG rankings. All right, holding down the number one spot is USC. Simply the best. Who's better? The Trojans are primed to dominate. That number one recruiting class from a few years ago has all grown up. Brian Cushing, Ray Mawaluga, Kevin Ellison had a defense that will dominate. The secondary is still locked down with Taylor Mays roving in the middle back there. The loss of Mark Sanchez has lodged a sense of urgency at quarterback for Troy, yet Pete Carroll remains cool under pressure. USC still has enough firepower to blow most teams out of the water with the sweetest stable of running backs in the country. As long as Mitch Mustaine or Aaron Cork can hand the ball off to Stephon Johnson, C.J. Gable, Broderick Green, Stanley Havili, or Joe McKnight, the men of Troy will be fine. The Trojans are stacked with more weapons than the Marines on offense and defense. The USC Trojans hold down the number one OG ranking for the original sports show 2008.